good morning students welcome to our english class today i am going to teach you a new chapter the chapter name is the unhappy tree this is the chapter name this is an interesting story this is a meaningful story okay before i starting i am reading your warm up so all of you have to open your page 93 open your english textbook page number 93 Look at the picture. Now I am going to read the question here. Which tree is it there? Which tree is it? This is a. Suppose this is neem tree. Then second, what kind of leaves does it have? The neem tree has tiny leaves or small leaves. It has a small leaves. Third question. What does it have? Any fruits or flowers? Did you see there any flower or fruit? No. How is a tree useful to us? How the tree is useful to all of us? Answer: The tree gives us shade, gives us fresh air, and trees gives us fruits, flowers. So more things we get from the trees. So trees are helpful to all of us. Now I am going to read your lesson. The unhappy tree. This is a moral story. We get moral from the story. So listen carefully. The story is about a tree that was unhappy about something. The story. This story is about a tree. It is unhappy. Do you want to know what? Read on to find out. If you know, if you do, you want to know what is. Who is unhappy? What is happened in this story? So I am going to read here. We are. We should have to move forward. Means I am explaining the story. So listen, everyone. Once upon a time, there was a little fir tree that grew in the midst of wood. Once upon a time, there was a fir tree. It was in the forest. Midest forest. Midest means in the Center of the forest. In autumn, other big trees covered it with their colorful leaves. During the autumn season, autumn means here it's a season. I am writing the new words. New words. Here midest means center, and autumn is a season. This is the name. Next, other big big trees covered it with their colorful leaves, and in winter, it was dressed in beautiful fresh snow. Here, the tree is telling the other trees covered with the beautiful leaves, with the beautiful leaves as well as their color also fresh. It's look so beautiful because of their leaves. They are fresh, so it's look beautiful. And there is a fresh snow because of the autumn season. Here. In this way, it is brave snow and storm until spring time came. And in this time, there is a brave snow. Brave means heavy snow was there. That's all. And the storm until spring time came. It will be snow falling there. Till up to spring time, spring season. It is also spring time is here. Spring. It is the name Vasant Ruti. It is the name of season. Suddenly, the little fir tree was bare. The little fir tree was bare there. It was. It saw the other trees sprouting beautiful leaves. Suddenly, who came here? The little fir fir tree said. It was bare. Means this tree don't have leaves, no leaves and no flowers there. It was bare. Bare means open. Bare means nothing is there. Bare means open or clear. It it saw the other tree sprouting beautiful leaves. It saw. What she saw? What the? 
which song is here? Which song they saw there? Who did see there? The little fall trees saw other trees sprouting. Sprouting means getting new leaves. Sprouting means new leaves. Sprouting means new leaves. New leaves come out to other trees. The little fall tree was covered in sharp and prickly needles instead of leaves. And little fall tree was covered in sharp and prickly needles. This how is the fall tree? This is fall tree and it has a needles. It has the needles, this fall tree. So, so this is not, the fall tree is not happy. Because this tree has no leaves and it has only needles. Covered in sharp and prickly needles instead of leaves. Instead of leaves, there is only needles to this fall tree. So it said to itself sad. This fall tree said. This is the fall tree said hurts itself. The tree is talking itself that what is talking all the other trees here have beautiful leaves. All the other trees have having beautiful trees, sorry, beautiful leaves. And I only have sharp needles. I have only sharp needles instead of the green leaves, instead of the fresh leaves. So this part is unhappy. This is this tree is unhappy. Because it doesn't have a fresh leaves, green leaves. If I would have a wish, and the pot is ready, if I would have a wish, I would ask for green leaves. If my wish is here, I would ask for green leaves too. I want, means I wish, I would have green leaves. Next answer. Sorry, next fellow. The little tree didn't sleep well that night, but when it woke up in the morning, it couldn't believe its luck. All the needles were gone and the little fir tree was covered in fresh green leaves. Full stop. The little fir tree didn't sleep that night. The little the fir tree could not sleep that night. But when it woke up in the morning, woke up means when he get up, woke up means get up. When he get up, when he get up. Down 
the stems and the tender shoots till the little tree shoots bare. Next, you have to turn the page number ninety-four. Now, not long after, long along came a goat. After some time, who came there? A goat came, looking for grass and herbs. And the goat was searching the grass, looking for the herbs for himself and his young ones. Young ones for her kids. For her young ones, delicious. He nibbled and nibbled and nibbled all the leaves. The goat nibbled all the leaves, fresh leaves. Nibal means here. Nibal means a small, a small quick bite. A goat nibbled all the fresh leaves. It's ate or everything new leaves. He scarped down the stems and swallowed and tender shoot till the Little tree stood bare. He scarred. He means here the goat. He scarred down. Scar means scar means swallow. Eat very quickly. Eat very quickly. Down the stem, till up to stem, the goat has eaten the free fresh leaves. And tender shoots till the little fur, little tree stood bare, and once again the little tree become once again it's become the fair bear. Sorry, because all the leaves were eaten by a goat, so it once again become bear. Alas! Cried the little tree, all my great leaves are gone. If I only had another wish, I would ask for the leaves of glass. And then it fell asleep. Once again, the little tree said, "Alas!" And she getting nervous and cried. The little tree, the little tree cried. She get nervous. She get sorrow. Once again, all my green leaves are are gone. The little tree said, "All the fresh leaves had gone." And once again the Poor tree, the little tree said to itself, "I wish I would ask for the leaves of glass. I want leaves of glass." And then it fell asleep. Once again, the little tree fell fell asleep. Get sleep. The little poor tree woke up the next day when it heard a strange tinkling sound. It was covered with a bright shiny leaves of glass. And the next day. When the little tree wake up, or uh, get up, it's get shocked. What she see? She heard a strange sound, a strange tickling sound. Tickling means here, it's a sound to make light me metallic sound. Tickling, tickling means to make a make light. Metallic sounds. When the little tree woke up next morning, it was she heard she heard the metallic sound, and it was the cover the bright and shiny leaves of glass. When she saw when the little fir tree or the little tree saw it, the tree was covered with a bright. A shiny leaves of glass. Glass means it is a specked. It is one type of glass leaves. जो कांच की पत्ते हैं, ऐसा उसका विश था. उसको कांच की जैसे पत्ते चाहिए थे. So her wish was completed the next day. Student, I hope you understood the half of the lesson. Okay. In the next video, I will make another. Half of the lesson with explaining. Okay, till up to bar. If you understood, you can like this video and click on the like button. Okay. 
बाय स्टूडेंट्स